Yo, Vincent here. So in this quick video, we're going to teach you how to actually multi-stream just from your OBS. <laughs> All right. So first you need is this OBS plugin. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. But once you get here, you can go to the download page. And depending on what you need, I, I usually got the executable and I just install it. And it'll instantly go into your OBS. All right. And um, you can use the zip too if you if you need to, and then you can like move it in. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually does it work for yeah it works for Mac too. So if you do probably need to do Mac, you probably need to either get like the zip file or the package file, depending on what you need, right? All right, once you install it um, and probably restart OBS if you don't see it on the top left window of your OBS, there should be like this window that has multiple output. And then the author is Sarayuki. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But yeah, this plugin is provided for free. And if you want to donate it, the donate button there. But in short, I have this popped up right now. So it's easier for you to see and I can like resize this. So what you want to do is add a new target, right? You can name it whatever you want. Like here I have like YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. I just named it. And then uh, depending on what service you're using it has a different server rmt url right you grab that you put that in there here's the stream key that's what that is if you must do that and click ok that will have it there and all right so i i'm, I'm trying to explain this how to like get the stream key and stuff just in short okay so technically if you go to youtube studio you can go live right and then here you can like edit whatever you want to do make it public and then you have the stream key here. And of course the URLs are down here. You just grab those, put them in there. Okay. So that's for YouTube. Um, on Twitch, you could probably do that in a contact dashboard. Um, right now I have my OBS connected straight into Twitch. So I technically don't have that here. All right. For TikTok, you will have to like go live super quick. You just have to go live. And then once you start it, you'll get a, you, there will be a window here that will tell you the stream key and the stream URL. You just grab that. Uh, so pretty much if you hit save, it will start the stream, but there's nothing there, right? But uh, you can start the stream, get those stuff, plug in your thing, and you can click start to have that start broadcasting. So pretty much for Facebook, you will have to go to like facebook.com slash live type producer, and then you just click, click create video, and it will give you the steps. Connect your video source. It actually forces you to to actually do that first right so you have it already broadcasting but it doesn't actually start it yet so it's not public and then you do your post details and then you can go live from there all right back here with the stream section don't mind that and then once you actually get everything going you just hit start it'll either say broadcasting or fail to start stream if it failed to connect to the stream then um you have to double check your keys and and url okay but, uh but yeah those are the most like basic rundowns of like the major streaming places um let me know if you have any questions and uh yeah that's that's it hopefully you enjoyed the video and with that later day check out my stream and details also down below